that's knife collector here. My name is Henk. I want to show two new acquisitions which came in this week. Two gorgeous knives, both from Benchmade. First of all, this is the USN, usual suspect, suspect, suspect form. This is the USN special of the Benchmade Skirmish. It's a Neil Blackwood design. Here you can see its logo. Only 100 are made, and this is number 34. It's a gorgeous knife, a kind of grey greenish anodization on the titanium, and the dimples are. A very vibrant green anodization, very nice. The knife is in mint condition. I traded it with a member of Blade Forums, Lauren. He got my ZT0600. And I got his skirmish. Oh. Very smooth action. It was just a little bit stiff. That one drop of oil. Solve this. So I'm very happy with this knife. Very well centered, very good lockup. Of course, it's a big knife. Let me compare it with a full size folding knife the Real Steel Tor 101. As you can see, it totally gets dwarfed out. And let me compare it with a regular skirmish. This is a black washed skirmish. So the difference are the Colorization, anodization, and the USN logo. Titanium frame, S30V blade steel, steel pocket clip, and I think it's a 4.1 inch knife. So very happy with this one. Very smooth. And no blade play or whatsoever. Next, a Benchmade 610 large Rukus. This one is in a used condition. I got it in yesterday. It was very, very stiff. I will put in some footage of that.
Okay, as you could see, it was very stiff. Just a little cleaning with WD-40. Afterwards, a bit of oil, hoppy number 9. And adjusting the pivot just a hundredth of, a, of an inch. So very small. Now the blade almost drops freely. Now drops freely. And it has no blade play up or down. Also S30V steel. As you can see it has some markings from use. I think there has been some pounding or hitting on the spine of the blade. But other than that, it seems to have still its factory edge. Minor scratching on the coating of the blade. The handle with G10 and micarta looks very good. The pocket clip has some marks, it's very minor. So overall, and of course the mark where the pocket clip is grabbing in the pants. But other than that, it still looks fine. And I'm happy with that. Free falling. It's not a hundred percent centering, but it's almost. I think it favors to the right side. But it's almost centered and with this action and no blade play I will not adjust it further. Size comparison with a full sized real steel tor. As you can see the ruckus or ruckus is even bigger. It's bigger than the skirmish, but the blades are almost, they are about the same. But it's the handle of the ruckus that is slightly larger. So all in all, two nice acquisitions. For the ruckus I have to thank one of my regular viewers, Dingo. Dingo, thank you very much for informing me that this one was available. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please like it. If you like my channel please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. For now, bye bye.